Check this out. I created this entirely with AI. AI tools are getting better and better. Today, you can create fully produced videos with AI. You can create anything from squirrels eating ice cream to floating goats, or even create your own movie. So I'll be showing you how to create stunning videos using AI. This tool is one of the easiest and most powerful tools out there for content creators, marketers, or any type of businesses. So it works like this. You simply enter in a prompt for the video that you wanna generate. You then click on generate, and this AI tool will generate a fully animated AI video. You can create videos from animated cartoons to ultra realistic scenes. You can then also make edits, change the languages, swap voices, and even replace sections within your AI generated video. So I'll walk you through how to use this in various ways. So we'll first start with something simple. I'll first walk you through something basic, like how to create a story for any type of audience. Then we'll do something a little bit more difficult. I'll then show you how to create a movie where we can adjust the visuals, the narrator, and even use our own AI generated scripts. And lastly, I'll be showing you one of the more advanced methods, and this is just for fun. So we're gonna make our own movie, Blade 4. And this is where Blade meets Castlevania and must defeat Dracula's son in order to save the world. So this kind of video really includes more details and visuals to really push the limit of AI. So let's get started. Now the tool that we're gonna be using is called InVideo. Now there is a link in the video description that you can use to sign up for free where we can start creating AI content. So this is nvideo.ai, and this is the tool that we're gonna use to create AI-generated videos. Now, once you're here, you'll enter in your email, go to the sign up process, and then you'll click on create an account. So once you sign up and make an account, it'll bring you to the prompt section where you can enter in prompts. Now here at the top, you can enter in a model, and I do recommend to keep this at 3.0 because this gives you access to the new generative media, better voices, and also plugins. So make sure you select 3.0. So next, let's go ahead and explore some of the in-video options. So here at the top left, I'll click on the options tab, and then here we have some options. We have our basic media, our plugins, and then we have a history, which is essentially all the videos we've ever made on this website. Now here in our media library, if you ever want to upload something, they'll all be stored right here in your media library. Next, we have generative picks. Now generative picks are videos that have been created by other creators. So for example, here I'll click on this volcano video. Now this video has been created by other creators. So here they show you the prompt of what they used in order to create this video. If you ever wanna use these for inspiration, you can always click on copy prompt and borrow these and create videos based off these prompts. But I'll go ahead and close this. So let's go back and explore some of the plugins. Now, before we jump into creating videos, let me explain some of these plugins right here. The first option is voices. This allows you to upload your voice where you can create videos based off your voice. So for example, here I uploaded a voice of myself and now I can use this same voice for all of my future videos. Now, if you ever wanna add your own voice, all you gotta do is click on add voice and here you can submit a recording of yourself. It must be at least 30 seconds and you have to say specific things. And once you do this, you can now use your voice for any animated video. So here I'll go ahead and close this. Next, we have the option of text to clip. So text to clip essentially describes a scene. So you can create something and then it'll generate a clip based off what you typed. So for instance, I put create me a clip for a man running away from puppies. Makes it Pixar style and animated. You can also adjust the seconds and also adjust the formats. 16 by nine is for YouTube videos and nine by 16 is for shorts and TikTok. So I'll go ahead and click on generate a clip. Now using these plugins does cost money and this can take anywhere between one to five minutes. So once it's finished, you'll see it did generate a clip of some dude running away from puppies. It's Pixar style and it's also animated. Now the next plugin is called text to image and essentially all this does is you can just type something in and it generates an AI generated image. Pretty standard, right? In this case, I created some dude eating ice cream walking down the streets in Thailand. Now the next option is actually one of the most underrated features with AI. This is photo to clip. Now the beauty about this is that you can create really high quality videos with high quality images. For example, here I put squirrel eating ice cream and I essentially uploaded an image just like this where a squirrel is eating ice cream and then it'll turn that image into a full on video. So for example, you'll see right here, the squirrel now eats the ice cream. And I also did another one right here where we have this goat and I commanded this goat to actually grab a green balloon and start floating up to the sky. Now a great strategy here is to actually go to mid journey and then find a really high quality image. You can then take these really high quality images, download them and use these as a basis for your movies. So the plugins can be very useful. You can use these in combination when you're creating AI generated videos. So let's create our first video. Here at the top, I'll click on create new and this brings us to the prompt screen. 
So before we create a video right here, if you click on workflows, this actually shows many other workflows that you can create. So these basically create prompts automatically if you want to create short videos, explainer videos, animated videos, and a few other. Just to give you a quick example, if I click on this animated video, it'll then take us to this section where we can create animated videos. So you can always come back to this if you want. So let's start with something very basic and then we'll work our way up to the harder prompts. So this is my first prompt. Create me a movie for the three best ways on how to lose fat. Use a woman's voice. Use ultra realistic people. Make sure the video is upbeat and positive. Also include motivational music. So essentially what I'm doing here is I'm trying to control the AI as much as possible to make sure it gives me exactly what I want. Just remember that these do cost money. So you really want to make sure you're as descriptive as possible. Next, I'll click on generate a video. So next we have the duration. So I'll select one minute. Here for the audience, we can select a different audience if we want. I'll just put weight loss seekers. And then for the platform, we could put YouTube, YouTube Shorts, or Instagram Reels. Essentially, this just changes the actual dimensions of the video. When we make more complicated videos, we're actually going to insert this prompt so we won't have to worry about the platform. But I'll just go ahead and just select YouTube, and then I'll click on Continue. Next, in video is gonna generate our video. And this process can take anywhere between five to 15 minutes. All right, and after that, the video has now finished. So let's take a quick look. Hey guys, are you ready to transform your body and shed that? All right, not bad. I'm so excited to share these amazing fat loss tips with you today. Let's get started with the three best ways to lose fat fast. First up, nutrition is key. Focus on eating a balanced, calorie controlled diet full of whole foods like lean proteins, colorful veggies, and healthy fats. Okay, and if we keep skimming here. Finally, don't forget about rest and recovery. Aim for seven, nine hours of quality sleep each night and find ways. Now, after you've created a video, you can now go further and edit the video. To edit a video, you'll click on edit. And here are some more editing controls. The first thing you can do is you can actually regenerate specific parts of your video. So for example, if you wanted to redo the introduction, you'll click on the intro and you can actually choose to regenerate the actual introduction or you have the option to use stock media or you can just upload your own content. For example, if you click on stock media, you can then go ahead and choose one of these sections here to replace any of the parts of the video that you want to change. But I'm pretty content on the video that's been produced, so I'll go back. And below that, we have a few more options. So here you can actually cut and trim specific parts of your video. Below that, we can actually add in transitions. So for example, if you didn't like the transitions the AI gave you, you can always change it to jump cuts or fade in. And below that, we have some more audio controls where you can completely adjust the audio for your video. Now, keep in mind, you can do this for every clip of your video. So at any time, if you, you know, produce something and it wasn't exactly how you wanted, for instance, you'll see this clip right here. This guy's actually running backwards on the treadmill. I would probably want to change that with something like stock media because it does look a little silly how the guy's uh, on a treadmill backwards, right? It's kind of funny actually. But I'm just giving you an example of how, you know, you would use these controls to change parts of the video that didn't produce what you wanted. Now the next option is the music tab. If you want to adjust the music for your video, you can choose to actually choose different stock music or you can upload your own music. If you do decide to change the music, there is a bunch of different music options you can use to replace your music for your AI generated video. The next option is the script. Now the script allows you to essentially change the script for your video. So for example, if you wanted to adjust the text or add something more, you can add it in right here. Now, once you adjust your script, you can always click on generative media, and then you can actually apply this to your actual script. Once you readjust the script, if we click on this plus icon, you can repropagate the script using stock media, generative media, or you can change the speaker, or you can just use text elements. So I'll go ahead and skip this for now and click on save changes. Once you adjust the original script, it'll then apply for your video. So here I'll click on play. I know you will love looking more fit. I know you love looking more fit. And that was the script that I added to my revised script. Let's go ahead and click back on edit. And the very last option is the settings tab. The setting tabs allows you to add in more effects to your video. So if you want an overlay, if you want to preset transitions, you can adjust those here. And then you have more options for your video where you can have higher volume, higher master volume, and then you can also add in additional characters for all future videos. 
After you fully revise your video, you'll then click on download to download your new video. Now, if you're on the paid plan, you generally want no watermarks. That basically hides all the logos from NVIDIA. Also for the NVIDIA branding here, I'll put none because I don't want to let them know I got it from NVIDIA. And then here you can choose the resolution. Most videos on YouTube follow the 1080p format. So I'll click on 1080p and then click on continue. And once you do that, you'll see it's now stored in your NVIDIA library and you can re-download it right here onto your computer. Also, at any time, if you click on this icon here at the top left, you can always go back into the history and always revise any video that you've created with NVIDIA. So that was pretty simple, right? But let's use this in a more practical manner. Let's go ahead and click on Create New and let's create something more advanced. Now, most beginners tend to use NVIDIA this way, and I'll be honest, this is the wrong way to use it. I just gave you a demonstration because I'm just giving you the basics of this, but if you want a very in-depth video, you need to go more in detail and explain everything about the video. So let's try something a little more difficult. Now, the first step is to go to ChatGPT. So let's do that. So first, I'm gonna ask it if it's familiar with NVIDIA. Okay, cool. So now that it's familiar with NVIDIA, now we can basically ask it to create prompts for NVIDIA. So my first script will work something like this. I wanna make a one minute video about the Lion King. Can you help me create a prompt that explains the Lion King story in details with visuals, music, and narration? Make it as close to the movie as possible with a detailed script and no pauses. Okay, now this is a much more detailed script as you can tell. You'll see in the first scene, we have the narration, the visuals, the music, transition, and then it cuts to the second scene. So you'll see this is a much more detailed and advanced script than what we currently had before. If we keep scrolling down, you'll see it breaks it scene by scene. And then here we have the script breakdown, which is no pauses and continue narration. So here we have the narration and we probably want to actually say this from maybe Simba's point of view. So we'll go ahead and scroll down. And now we're going to update this script a little bit more. So I'm going to slightly revise this. Please make sure the narration is coming from Simba's point of view. Please put this in a four paragraph AI format so I can give this to NVIDIA AI video creator. Here, click on enter. Now, when you're creating these scripts, you're generally gonna have to update it quite often. Sometimes when I make these movies, it does take me around maybe five to maybe 20 times I have to update it and I have to continually update it. But you'll see here how we have the prompts, we have the opening scene, the visuals, the music, we have scene two, scene three, and then we have scene four. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all this, we're gonna copy this, and we're gonna paste it in in video. Now, before I copy and paste it, I just wanna let them know that I'm entering this prompt. So I went ahead and I posted that in and you'll see that we're using 2,700 out of 32,000 words. Now I know 32,000 seems like a lot, but just remember the more description you have, the better. Now, the last thing I wanna do is I'm gonna scroll down here and I'm just gonna remind them that I wanna put this in YouTube video formats. If you wanna change it to something like TikTok, you'll go ahead and put in nine by 16. Now that I put that in, now let's click on generate a video. On the last step, you can always readjust the visual style, the audience, and also the platform. I just wanna make sure this is animation. This is generally for Disney fans. And I want this also for YouTube. Here, I'll click on continue. Now, just a reminder, when you have videos with more prompts, the videos generally take longer to create. So this probably will take me about five minutes. Okay, and after waiting about 10 minutes, you'll now see we have a fully produced movie with AI. I remember the first time I was presented to the kingdom. My father, Mufasa, stood proudly at Pride Rock, guiding the entire Pride Lands beneath the vast African sky. The sun rose, casting its golden glow over our kingdom. All right, so as you can tell, it's a lot more complex and thorough this time. And just remember, at any time, if you want to adjust any part of these you know, videos or you want to adjust the script, you can always do so in the script section or you can just replace this with stock footage. So now that we have a general understanding of how to use this tool, let's take things to the next level and make things a little more detailed. Now, the next example is how to create a full on movie. Let me show you how to do this. The first thing I'll do is I'll just instruct it on what exactly I want. And I personally wrote this myself. So all I'm doing here is I'm instructing what I want the AI to write about. I'm explaining this type of story that I want it to generate. Now here's where things can get a little bit more complicated. At the end of this, I'm saying make this ultra realistic and use a Canon EOS R5 85 millimeter lens or soft cinematic lighting. Essentially what I'm saying here is I want this to look a lot more realistic. So I don't want it to look so cartoony, but I want it to look real like in the actual cinema. All right, and just like that, you'll now see that has created a really nice NVIDIA AI prompt. You'll see that it talks about, 
you know, it talks about the actual movie. We have opening visuals, the monster sequence, the final dual scene, and then we have the ending scene. We also have the complete script right here that was fully generated with the AI. Now, just remember at any time, if you want to update these or if there's something that the AI didn't include, you can always instruct the AI to update the script or update the visuals to get exactly what you want. Now, I highly recommend to adjust everything here because once you actually enter in the script, the movie's produced and you're gonna have to spend more credits in order to update it. So I highly recommend to update everything right here in ChatGPT before you actually enter the prompt and in video. Create new, here I'll go ahead and paste it and then I'll click on generate a video. All right, and after a few updates, let's take a look here. I think this is actually one of the best ones yet. Let's take a look. Dracula's gone. But his son Alucard didn't just survive. He built something worse. Castlevania's no castle. It's a graveyard with a pulse. As soon as I entered, I was hunted. First came the screechlings, winged leeches that swarmed like a plague cloud. I cut them down midair. Then the blood widow crawled from the ceiling, eight legs, human face, whispering spells in Latin. Her scream almost cracked my skull. I burned her alive with ultraviolet grenades. Just when I caught my breath, the choir arrived. Dozens of monks stitched together, floating, chanting backward, summoning darkness. I shot the air until it bled holy fire. Now Castlevania burns behind me. So finally, let's talk about the pricing. Now the pricing is actually quite confusing, so I'll do my best to explain it. Each of these plans gives you a specific amount of AI generation, stock footage, generative credits, storage, and also different voices. So whenever you use the AI to generate videos using prompts, you're using the generative credits. If you plan on using the text to prompt or the plugins, or you need to edit specific parts of the video, then you're going to be using the AI generation credits. This is probably the most confusing thing that most users tend to, you know, ponder about these specific pricing plans. I'll leave a link to the pricing plans and maybe a discount code in the video description if they ever give me one. All right, party people, thank you all so much for watching this tutorial. If you have any questions for me about anything that we talked about, let me know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to always start from ChatGPT first before you, uh, you know, start making videos because uh, it can get very expensive when you're creating prompts at NVIDIA. So make sure that you do practice on ChatGPT before you start making videos for NVIDIA. My name is Daryl Wilson, and I will see all of you party people later.